Welcome back to AMTV News. I'm your anchor, Topher Morrison. It's Thursday, November 1st, 2012. It's five days away, the $6 billion U.S. election. This Tuesday, our post-Citizens United electoral world will, according to the Center for Responsive Politics, beat the last election in spending by a cool $700 million. Spending has increased in clip as the election draws near. It's now $33 million per week. While the 2008 presidential elections saw $2 million more, the gains in spending have been in Congress, where incumbents are re-elected at an average rate of about 80%. Curious when all polls show this institution's popularity is at an all time low. How much do these guys cost? An incumbent senator costs approximately 11 million, where members of the House run around 1.5. Their challengers are outspent 10 to 1 and 6 to 1, respectively. As far as the presidential race is concerned, Wall Street's money is on Romney by a 5 to 2 margin over Obama, while lawyers and lobbyists are still behind the incumbent. Shocker. And in civil rights, court okays warrantless hidden cameras. U.S. District Court Judge William Griesbach, Gries, Griesbach has ruled that it's okay for law enforcement to place covert surveillance equipment on private property without a warrant. In a case involving a 22-acre property, a Drug Enforcement Administration agent allegedly found a 1,000 marijuana plants after installing hidden cameras violating, according to the defendants, not only society's concept of privacy, but of a reasonable expectation that their activities were not being recorded as it would constitute a violation of their civil rights. Idiots. Declan McCullough writing for CNET aptly surmises this green light signals red alert. Quote, as digital sensors become cheaper and wireless connections become more powerful, the Justice Department's argument would allow police to install cameras on private property without court oversight, subject only to budgetary limits and political pressure. The defendants face life in prison for a thousand plants, which less than a century ago were perfectly legal. ADP cancels 365,000 jobs in 2012. Remember that heartwarming 7.8 unemployment number? Remember when skeptics like Jack Welch were called cranks and conspiracy theorists for questioning the administration and the almighty Bureau of Labor Statistics? Recall how the incumbent has been touting his 2008 campaign promise as fulfilled. This morning, we found out that the unemployment rate has fallen to its lowest level since I took office. Now, remember the recent quiet revision of those numbers when unemployment benefits were finally submitted, albeit a little late. Well, it looks like the time-honored payroll data firm ADP and its partner Moody's halved their rosy private jobs report for September too, from 162,000 down to 88,200. If we look back over 2012, it looks like ADP has missed the mark a few times before, correcting down 365,000 jobs. Poof. Moreover, manufacturing jobs in September rather than gaining 4,000 has actually lost over 17 grand. Just something Ohio ought to know. Capturing every corner of the alternative media, watch AMTV News Monday through Friday. In four days, on November 5th, look forward to the launch of AMTVmedia.com, home of the AMTV Network. This is AMTV, the voice of independence.